Hi, this is Bill with Machinery Consultants out in Salt Lake City, Utah. We're doing a video today on a Getting to Lewis model 65D4T. This happens to be serial number 150 dash 53-63. The table working area of this machine is a 36 by 76. So it's 36 inches wide and 76 inches in length. That allows for 66 inches of cross travel. The saddle travel on this machine happens to be 48 inches, so four foot from your face of your spindle, so four foot of saddle travel coming outward, and your vertical travel on the head coming up and down on the column is at 42. Okay, oh, by the way, it's a four inch diameter spindle. So the spindle diameter here happens to be a four inch diameter. Uh, and it's a Cat 50 taper on the spindle. It's a 20 horsepower main drive motor. It's currently out 480 volts now. It's a pendant control style machine. It's ran off this pendant here, very easy to run. Here's your 20 horsepower main drive motor and it's currently wired at 480 volts. All right, Frankie, let's see what you got. Let's go ahead and run it through some of its paces. The condition's fabulous. speeds on this machine. Standard feeds on this machine as well. Spindle comes in and out a full 30 inches. Okay, so it's an American made getting to Lewis, model 65 D4T, the 36 by 76 table area. Standard getting to Lewis feed, standard getting to Lewis speeds. Now you'll know this particular machine is not set up with outboard support brackets. They are not required on a 76 inch wide table working area. So the outriggers are not part of this package. It's a little more compact. It's a heavy frame, heavy pattern machine.
So that was our top RPM spindle speed. Again, we have 45 changes ranging from 10 to 1300. Right here, you see your high and your low. You'll see the side glass that has the oil drip right here for the oil lubrication. The only last thing we're going to show, I don't even know if I'm supposed to be in the frame, but just let me through the lens. This is a cap 50 end mill holder. So, what this spindle takes is a cap 50, and what it does is it accepts it through the spindle and it has the locking mechanism right here. What we call that cap 50. Can you see it okay in my frame? Mm hmm. That's the top one right there with a little slot in it. Beast tape resistance. Okay, so it's a hard way machine. It does not require uh, outboard support brackets. Uh, please note, we currently do not have a digital readout on here that's a new all. However, we're going to set one up on here. What you're seeing here is just basically an Accurite skill. May or may not be of any value. We'll put on a new new all digital readout as needed. Full three axis. Here's the electrical motor again. Well, let us know if there's any questions we can additionally answer. We're here at Machinery Consultants out in Salt Lake City, Utah. Our website is www.machineryconsultants.com. This is a really nice four inch Giddings and Lewis horizontal boring mill, model D65 4T, or 65 D4T. Serial number 150-523-63. All right, cool. Well, until next time, be happy, be healthy, and thank you for shopping with Machinery Consultants. Have a great day.